Are you missing these warning signs of magnesium deficiency? So, let's talk about these warning signs of magnesium deficiency. Are you feeling unusually tired? Are you experiencing muscle cramps or noticing irregular heartbeats? These could be more than just everyday issues. In this video, we will reveal the fundamental warning signs of magnesium deficiency that you might be overlooking. Don't let this silent problem take a toll on your health, learn what to watch for and how to take action. So, let me tell you a story. Last year, my friend Sarah was feeling off. She was constantly tired, had these annoying muscle twitches, and sometimes her heart felt like it was doing a little dance in her chest. She brushed it off as just stress and too much coffee. But then, things got worse. One day, she had such a bad muscle cramp that she couldn't even stand up. That was her wake-up call. She went to the doctor and, surprise surprise, she was severely deficient in magnesium. Crazy, right? So, let's talk about the warning signs she missed and you shouldn't. Here are the big ones you need to watch out for. Number 1, Fatigue and Weakness. This is usually the first sign. Feeling exhausted even after a good night's sleep? Your body might be telling you it's low on magnesium. Number 2, Muscle Cramps and Twitches. Ever had those annoying eye twitches or sudden cramps in your legs? That's your body screaming for magnesium. Number 3, Mental Health Issues. Anxiety, mood swings, and even depression can be linked to low magnesium levels. Number 4, Irregular Heartbeat. This one's scary. If your heart feels like it's skipping beats, it could be more than just nerves. Number 5, Nausea and Loss of Appetite. Feeling queasy and not in the mood to eat? That's another subtle sign. Number 6, Low Vitamin D Levels. Did you know magnesium helps activate vitamin D in the body? Low levels of vitamin D can indicate a magnesium deficiency. Number 7, Potassium Deficiency. Magnesium helps maintain the balance of potassium in your cells. Low magnesium can lead to a drop in potassium, causing more fatigue and muscle issues. Number 8, Migraines. Frequent migraines can be a sign of low magnesium, as it plays a role in neurotransmitter function and blood circulation in the brain. Finally, number 9, blood sugar issues. Magnesium helps regulate blood sugar levels. A deficiency can lead to insulin resistance and blood sugar spikes. So, what can you do about it? First of all, make sure you're eating magnesium-rich foods like dark leafy greens, Spinach, one of the best sources, providing about 157 mg of magnesium per cooked cup. Swiss chard, contains around 154 mg per cooked cup. Kale and collard greens, also good sources, though slightly lower in magnesium than spinach and chard. Nuts and seeds. Almonds, about 80 mg of magnesium per ounce, 28 grams. Cashews, provide around 74 mg per ounce. Pumpkin seeds, extremely rich, with about 150 mg per ounce. Chia seeds, contain around 95 mg per ounce. Flax seeds, provide about 40 mg per tablespoon. Whole grains. Brown rice, contains about 86 mg per cooked cup. Quinoa, approximately 118 mg per cooked cup. Oats, about 57 mg per cooked cup. Buckwheat, roughly 86 mg per cooked cup. Legumes. Black beans, about 120 mg per cooked cup. Lentils, approximately 71 mg per cooked cup. Chickpeas, around 79 mg per cooked cup. Kidney beans, provide about 70 mg per cooked cup. Fruits. Avocados, one medium avocado contains about 58 mg. Bananas, one medium banana provides about 32 mg. Figs, about 50 mg per 100 g, dried. Fish. Salmon, around 26 mg per 3 oz serving. Mackerel, contains about 82 mg per 3 oz serving. Halibut, provides around 90 mg per 3 oz serving. Dark chocolate. 
yes, chocolate. How awesome is that? It contains around 64 milligrams of magnesium per one ounce, 70 to 85 percent cacao. Dairy products. Yogurt, about 30 milligrams per eight ounce serving. Milk, contains around 24 milligrams per cup. Tofu, about 37 milligrams per 100 grams. Other vegetables. Potatoes, a medium potato with skin contains about 48 milligrams. Broccoli, around 21 milligrams per cup, cooked. Sometimes, food isn't enough, and you might need a supplement. But always talk to your doctor before starting anything new. Remember Sarah? After adjusting her diet and taking a supplement, she's feeling amazing now. No more cramps, no more heart flutters, and she has her energy back. So, don't ignore these signs, guys. Your body knows what it needs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health tips. Stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!